Hello. Hello. Thank you all for lasting this long. We, we, yeah. we, we will try to waken you up, although the energy has been just fantastic at this event. So Tyra, thanks for doing this. Thank you, Miss Patty. <laughs> um, we're going to talk about, you know, I was just back in the green room with Tyra, and I had read up on her, but she's telling me about things that she's doing that I didn't even know about. And your multimedia world is just staggering right now. So tell me about, I'm going to ask a very basic question, Tyra. What are you all about and what is Bankable Enterprises all about? Okay. Um, well, I feel what I am all about and what I was put on this earth to do is to expand the definition of beauty, to expand it. I find that it's very narrow and the narrowness of it actually angers me. And it's actually why I created America's Next Top Model. A lot of people think that I created the show um, to just have models and it's a competition. But on purpose, I have casted girls that are what we call plus size, but I prefer to call fiercely real. Um, we have cast girls that have atypical features, unique features, or something that I call debatable beauty. And every week on America's Next Top Model, when I'm telling that girl that she is beautiful and she has something special about her, I'm really using her as a vessel to reach the girl that is watching her at home on television or on the internet, or I'm really talking to that girl through the model on the show. And so I'm really about expanding the definition of beauty. My company, Bankable Enterprises, is about the same thing. We live it and we breathe it. And I'm changing the name of my company. You were just telling me that. Are yeah. you going to reveal the new name? I can't reveal it just yet. We were going to finalize it tomorrow, but it will be changed. OK. Yeah. So you have a new website, yes. Type F. Yes. What, how does that fit in, and how did that come about? I was um, really excited about um, partnering with Demand Media. It's, uh, my company and Demand Media partnered on the project. Um, I was introduced to Richard Rosenblatt of Demand Media, the and CEO. the CEO, and he sat with me and it was explaining to me about um, the search engine, search engine optimization and how he knows that I stand for making women feel beautiful with their uniqueness and their differentness as well as their insecurities. And um, so he explained to me his business model and then even like tested me with some things with Lance Armstrong's website and just had me think of odd medical weird stuff, health stuff. And so I would just think up something weird, and he would type it in, and they had these wonderful articles that was, would give the information. And I was like, wow, I could do that with beauty? I can have a girl that says that she's short with feet that, are, that she thinks that are too big and a waist that she thinks is too tiny compared to her shoulders and talk to her? And he's like, yes. So, you know, that was really intriguing. And then, of course, I did my business and my due diligence and, you know, um, did my research on what demand media is. And then I said, I can reach my girl this way. I can make her feel special by giving her personalized information just for her. So how does, there are a million beauty sites out there. Mm -hmm. So how is Type F different? Type F is different because they don't dictate to you and say that this is the thing and this is what you must wear. They say, or shall I say, we say, sure, coral is in right now or tribal wear is in right now. But not everybody can necessarily wear what that model on that runway is wearing. I can't wear it anymore because my ass is larger now. So it's how does it fit to my ass, right? How does it fit to your asses? So we, excuse me, Patty, is that okay to say that word? You may say that. Okay. okay. Um, so what I do. At this conference, you can we say We can say anything. ass. Okay. I heard a couple of cheers for ass. Oh, yeah, it's the end of the day. Um, so we create content for the girl that is super short with a certain butt to wear the new tribal wear, for, for a girl that has super long legs and a short torso, a girl who has almond-shaped eyes and feels like that type of earring doesn't work for her. It's very specific. So a woman comes to Type F, she types in all of her information from her eye shape, her eye color, her hair color, her length, the shape of her face, the tone of her skin, the body type, and then we deliver information based on her specifications. So she feels beautiful, she feels validated because she sees in print her body you know, it's almost like, you know, you, you believe what you see, and then it becomes beautiful because somebody is telling you it, and it is an ink, pen and ink or megabytes. And so I asked you if it, was a hard, if it was a hard decision to go with demand media, and you told me that 
you did have other potential partners. Yes, for 10 years I've had people coming to me and saying, Tyra, we want you to do this site with us, we want you to do that. But to me, I'm all about differentiation. I'm all about something being different. What can I, what can I share with the world that's new and exciting? So, so what did they want you to do um, with these other people? The other ones just wanted me to, wanted to use my name. They said, oh yeah, we know you're into that like making people feel special thing. So like we kind of do that. You see this little corner here on this website. You know, can we just use your name and and you know your audience? And that just was not attractive to me. And I had offer after offer after offer to partner with companies like this, or just to yeah, just to use my face. I've never been into just like using my name or face. If I'm in, I'm in. Wow. And to me, the word hands-on is um, an understatement. You know, it has to be a true partner, or it has to be a bankable production where we are we are leading it and it is ours 100%. So do you and Demand co-own this site? Um, we have an, a situation that I'm not going to tell all of y'all, <laughs> but um, but yes, there is. A, you have there a situation. A, there's a situation. <laughs> a financial situation. A financial situation. <laughs> okay, so we're going to see a video. Explain the video. Yes. How that. So um, it's really important to me for beauty and fashion to not um, be boring, to not be stale. I mean, I've been a fashion model since I was 15 years old in the 11th grade in high school. And I was very intimidated by the fashion industry even when I was one of the top five models in the entire world. I was still intimidated by that designer pinning clothes on me. I was still intimidated by the people that talk like this and say everything is beautiful and fabulous and Tyra, we love you. Very intimidating. So I've always wanted to bring fashion to the people, you know, to make it palatable and fun and exciting. So I created this um, web series for Type F called F -f 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 Fashion. Um, it's comedy meets historical references and an education on where certain fashion pieces has come from, as well as takeaway and how to make it right for you. Today we debuted um, our finale episode of F -f -f Fashion. Your F, -f, -f finale? But our, yes, Patty, our F, -f, -f finale. And um, it's all about the bikini and my co-star, on the series is Andre Leon Talley, who is um, one of my judges on America's Next Top Model. Okay, can you roll the video, please? Every year, I get asked one question more than any other question asked of me. Tyra, how the hell do I look good in a bikini? I'm gonna show you how. Degolasse. Declasse. Brecker too. Trollop. Ghastly. Daddy, you shield my eyes. Degolasserie. <gasps> Off with her head. I know, I know. Don't tell Daddy. Eddie! Night, no, Eddie! We have a date with a round table. Bitsy, bitsy, teeny bikini! Oh, the bikini! Can you wear one? Maybe you can. Two piece. Goddess. Beach. Sexy. Sir. Gidget. Oh, to trot. Little. It's it. Bikini. 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 The bikini, Andre. The bikini. Again, the Italians. They invented the stiletto heel. They invented the fabric for jeans. And they invented the bikini. You know, the bikini, according to Diana Reeland, was the biggest invention in the 20th century. Then in 1946, there was this competition to make the smallest swimsuit, and these two Frenchmen, Louis Rayard and Jacques Hain, decided that they were going to just make the smallest swimsuit in the world. But the supermodel said, <gasps> I'm not wearing that. I'm not wearing that little piece of whore clothing. How dare you say I should put that on my body? And what happened? He scoured the earth looking for a woman to put on his smallest swimsuit in the world. And so he got the ladies of the night. The strippers. I'll wear it. Oh, that's what you mean. What do you want me to do? I'll wear it. I'll drop it like it's hot in 1946 for you, baby. And the strippers introduced the bikini to the world. And then it was named for a historic event, which was the A-bomb tested at the Bikini Atoll. That's how they got the word bikini. So much more that I want to share with you, but I need to get to know you better. So please go to the Just For You section and fill out all the information about yourself so that we can get to know you better and deliver stuff for you that is just for the unique, beautiful you. Go now.
stick around and click around. Yeah.